Hi, in this video, I wanna walk you through how to build an onboarding or implementation process in your HubSpot pipelines from scratch. I'm gonna use tickets for this, but as we discussed in the last video, you could also be using deals or custom objects. So let's get into it. Let's go to edit pipelines, and then we are going to create a new pipeline for onboarding. And I'm gonna go ahead and start defining the stages here. These may be different for you, but let's generalize to get them in here. So we're gonna go ready for onboarding, sort of a holding stage. We're gonna have kickoff. We're going to have account uh, setup. We're gonna have training. We're gonna have launch. We're going to have onboarding complete. And we are going to have onboarding failed. Hopefully we don't have too many folks in here, but it's important to break it out for reporting. So let's set those to the correct statuses and click save. Next, we're gonna talk about probably the most important thing in the onboarding implementation process when it comes to building efficiency and scale, and that is required properties, required data. You wanna be able to define the dependencies that you have in your process as early as possible so you can stop them being a problem later. So what I'm gonna ask you to do, and you can do this, I'll share this template after the video, but just in any doc, any Google Sheet, just list out everything that needs to happen. So we are going to say contract uh, signed, we're gonna say, uh, schedule, kickoff. These could be tasks that you need to do, that your customers need to do. Just list them all out, and then we're going to require the data against them. So we're going to go require setup, and then let's say we say, you know, train team. Okay, and you obviously list out uh, all of the tasks, but I'm just listing a few here for brevity. And the next thing is to, in this required data column, add the data that is required for each stage to happen. So for configuring setup, we need to know which CRM the customer is using and do they require a migration. Once we have this, once we have the required data listed out for every uh, task, we can go back to HubSpot to our pipeline settings and just map that out, define that in our pipeline. So in this case, in order to move to the account setup stage, we need to know the CRM and do they require a migration. So in the kickoff um, phase, we need to be collecting that information. So I'm gonna to go to account setup, edit properties, I'm gonna search for CRM, and I'm gonna search for require, migration required, and I'm gonna check required against both of those properties. This is also a great time if you don't have those properties in your CRM to start adding them to make sure that you can collect that all in one place. So now that we have this, we're gonna go back to our pipeline, we're gonna make sure we're looking at our onboarding pipeline. And you can see that we have all the stages laid out in our process. And as we'll get into in the next video, we can, we'll be able to show the data that's required throughout the process to move on to the next step. And that's really the goal here. How do we de define the dependencies in the process so that we can keep the customer moving forward, keep our team on top of everything that they need to do, make sure they have everything they need to keep the process moving and moving efficiently. I'll see you in the next video.